Hey guys, I'm Vince Luca, and today we're going to go to Circuit Gilles-Villeneuve in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. And I wanted to do a, a quick video to show you how it is to be a fan at one of these events if you've never been to an F1 event before. So let's get right into it. First of all, on Thursday, before the weekend starts, you can go do a pit walk, which a lot of people don't know about. But if you come here early Thursday morning, there is a shuttle that you can take all the way to the pit lane and walk the pit lane. So don't forget to bring your masks because you might need them on the train or metro. And what's cool is that you get to drive the, uh, well, half the track on a shuttle bus, which was really fun and interesting. And uh, the bus driver, kind of impressed us doing his little chicanes at a pretty reasonable speed for a bus. It was really fun and it's uh, something um, you might never forget. And uh, here's a bit of trivia for you. So when you're looking at a race and you see these uh, orange, bright orange squares on the track, that's where a driver can stop if he's having problems with his car. And uh, these orange windows here are where they could escape if they need to uh, run away from the track or something like that. So uh, that's a little bit of trivia for you. And what's really cool is that as you're doing the uh, drive to the pit, you might even see the drivers doing a track walk. Like here we get to see Vettel and uh, pretty close doing his uh, walk on the track and seeing all the uh, damages that were done from our crappy Montreal asphalt. Now, today was pretty unlucky. It uh, started to rain for us, but still a fun event. And uh, rain sometimes means less people. But in uh, this case, it didn't really matter. There was a lot of people that showed up for the pit walk, even though not many people know about it. Still a lot of people showed up just to uh, hopefully get a glimpse at a driver or a team principal or um, anybody that they want to meet. Something like uh, maybe Latifi, Canadian driver here walking the track. And uh, you also get to get really close to the pit wall, which is really cool. See all the buttons they use and screens and stuff like that. And um, oh, there's another driver there walking down the uh, track probably making sure there's no debris like bottles or a gopher or maybe even a shoe um, which has happened someone was driving in first place was winning the race and uh, she hit a shoe and took her off the race um, so yeah i hope hope this year you know montreal um, lives up to uh to the f1 name and f1 tracks and hopefully cleans it up a little bit but that's just me ranting let's get back to the pit walk here which is really cool you get to see even um, some of the uh, the mechanics working on the cars the side pods are lifted uh, most of the time and you know the wings are off, the front wing is off the car so you get to see the the whole front end the inside and everything so Hopefully, for those of you guys that didn't know about this, Thursdays, you can go and I think it's free also because they didn't check for our passes or anything like that. They just put us on a shuttle and drove us to the pit lane. So it's probably free too. So even if you don't have tickets next year, Thursday, come to the island and come to the pit walk. It's free and it's actually really fun and I get to see some of the drivers and stuff. So. It's really cool and interesting um, and you get to see uh, each of the teams working on the car we didn't see any of the garage doors closed uh, we got to see everything and uh, here's another driver walking on the track this time we got Lando Norris pretty cool kid I wish I would have met him but uh, still cool to see and uh, being up close like that check out those side pods of the Alfa Romeo so it's, uh, it's a really interesting and fun day to come out and uh, do this. The only thing I really recommend you do is come super early. I think it, it, it's only three hours, like from 9 to 12 or something like that. 
and if you don't come early enough they'll just stop you even if you're in line too bad like they're just gonna tell you go back home so try to get here for at least seven eight at least minimum and there's uh, Mick Schumacher giving us a little wave even get to get close to the safety car let's see if we could have a listen here at the engine show off that engine so nice this is my favorite safety car the Aston Martin it is beautiful the colors gorgeous and the cameras don't make it justice you have to see that color in person then we could do the Aramco walk here which I've always wanted to do put my foot on the Aramco logo and uh, we got Alban over there riding his bicycle and you get to meet some pretty cool people with some pretty cool hats handmade hats you could also bring your water bottle to refill it at these watering station for free. And uh, this is Friday at the Montreal Grand Prix 2022. And Friday you come and you walk around, you could buy stuff, get your stuff early on Friday because some of the uh, sizes, especially medium, are hard to find. If your size is medium, make sure to buy your stuff right away as soon as you get in, wherever you can, because medium goes away fast. You can even buy some pretty cool items like this uh, Senna helmet for 250 bucks. And here we have the fan zone. Now, guys, I strongly recommend, if you are planning on coming to the fan zone, pause the video, scan this code, and register before getting to the Grand Prix because the internet and the network on the island is horrible, you won't be able to register. Um, so do that right now. And then once you come here, you'll have your QR code so you can come and do all these activities. Activities like this guy's doing, which is the <laughs> reflex test activity. Got my wife up there doing it too. She got a good score, 1007. And then uh, I tried at it didn't do too well some people got to 3000 some people got to 4000 i think my score was like 2009 or something like that it's really hard it's uh, tougher than it looks then you can go to the uh, pit challenge here where you get to change the tires there's three teams if you're only one or two don't worry they'll pair you up with other people you get a few practice rounds we did a actually a pretty good time of 2.8 as a team and uh, that actually made us win the challenge which was super fun and uh the fan zone is really cool you even get to like see the two 2022 prototype and this is just a bunch of fun activities so make sure to use that qr code to register now montreal is known for its potholes and construction and horrible streets and roads we are a disgrace to the f1 we are sorry about our uh, are really bad organizing and construction but that's just uh, what Montreal is known for um, so make sure to wear boots if it is raining or shoes that you don't really care about because there's gonna be mud and you're gonna find a lot of potholes the monster energy drink area is really cool to go see as well get to see some cool things maybe get some free energy drink and uh, there's like a concert, just music playing. You could have alcohol and see uh, some crazy stunts like these motorbikes here. And uh, then you could also go see other activities like the Ferrari challenge. Let's have a listen. Thank you. 
Uh, guys, after the Ferrari challenge, make sure to come to this um, pathway here. It's behind the restaurants of the hairpin uh, that are on the steps. So go behind the restaurants and walk this little walkway here next to the water. And you'll be able to see like the medical center, the medical team. Um, I mean, these guys are important too to having an F1 race. But at the end of this walkway, there's the Ferrari challenge pit lanes. So I'm going to let you guys watch some of these Ferraris with some background music for a while. So once you've done that, you can go back to your seats and enjoy some F1 practice. Let's have a listen. Once you've seen everything you wanted to see, make sure you get to the exit as fast as possible because there's a lot of people and they're all leaving at the same time. Um, there were so many people at one point that the bridge is supposed to be a lane and a walkway, but the people just took over the lane and the cars just had to wait for everybody. And once we've crossed the bridge, we go into the metro system. The metro is actually pretty fast and uh, it does pick up a lot of people. So the line to get out isn't that bad. So you're going to be here at Jean Trapeau and you want to go to Peel because that's where the nightlife is happening. You're going to have to get off at Betty Ucam. And before going to Peel, I strongly recommend you go outside of Betty Ucam metro station 
and maybe eat and grab a drink there instead of at Peel. So when you come out of Betty Cam, take the St. Dennis exit and you'll be on the St. Dennis street, which is a pedestrian street. So there's no cars and anything like that. There's a lot of uh, construction cones, which is a Montreal staple. You could buy a salt and pepper uh, shaker that's shaped like that because we're known for our construction and roadblocks. But the restaurants are really cool on the street. There's a bunch of them from uh, Asian to Middle Eastern to European. Uh, you'll have everything you want in one place. There's uh, Mexican food, there's Italian food, and uh, you'll also get some pretty cool music, some live jazz, and you'll get uh, beer that's made in Montreal. So you could try our very own Montreal beer. And not to mention, you can stop by She Geeks, which is a gaming hobby store. It's a shameless plug because me and my brother own it. But if you're into racing games, you could come to She Geeks and pick up Fast and Furious, Street Kings, Downforce, or Neon Knights, all pretty cool racing games. So once you're done eating, picking up your board game, get back in the metro and then go to Peel because that's where all the nightlife is happening. You've already eaten, you've already had your fill, so now you could just go there and party and not wait the insane lines for the restaurant. You could do some pretty cool activities there and meet some really cool Montreal people. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.